So there have been some questions about my bed frame. And my bed frame was logistically one of the hardest things I put in the van here. Um, just because, let me show you, I needed clearance for these bikes and they barely clear. Um, but I also wanted some room so that I could sit up in bed and not have my head, your neck crooked um, to be able to, uh, you know, sit and read a book or just sit up whenever I needed to. Um, so that was a very hard thing to do. I don't know how to weld and I wanted, you know, some metal crossbars, but in the end that would have actually caused me to have less space as well. So this is three quarter inch Baltic birch. Um, you've probably heard me talk about it before. It's very, it's a very strong, heavy material. It's, uh, not as prone to warping. Um, also harder to find. You have to get it at a uh, local, um, lumber yard, not like your regular Home Depot or Lowe's. So, um, it is strong, but you know, to have a piece of plywood go across your van like this, it's going to warp and it's going to flex under the weight. So I had to figure out what I could do to, um, strengthen it and stiffen it. Um, the one thing I did, so in just a basic sense to have this bed mounted in here, um, we have three quarter inch, uh, Baltic birch sheets or 18 millimeter, I should really say. And I used existing holes that were cut in the sheet metal. You can see they're kind of random um, back here, but they were already holes. So I just drilled them a little bit bigger. I put riv nuts into the sheet metal. Um, you can just get a riv nut gun off Amazon or your local hardware store. Install the riv nuts. And then these are, I believe, M6 bolts. And they're about 60 millimeters long. And they thread directly into those holes. So in order to even, you know, match this up, I had to put tracing paper along the sheet metal. And with the tracing paper, I was able to mark where the holes were. Then I put it over this three quarter inch plywood and just put black dots on all the holes and then drilled through um, with a drill to get the holes to all line up. Because otherwise, yeah, you'd be just kind of um, trying to figure out where you're gonna actually put these bolts through and it would be quite difficult and frustrating and even it was a slight bit frustrating the way i did it but in the end it's there it hasn't moved in three years it's super stiff um so normally there's a cutout for a window so this is like a if i was here with the sheet metal you'd see there's just a a brace over here then it kind of curves in towards the outside of the van and it's just a single wall of sheet metal um so right here is kind of a void behind the wood so this is, you know, if you just were gonna put a bed in a van, you could totally just um, install the bed right at this height and you wouldn't have to build all this extra amount. But since I was putting the bikes under my bed, I had to raise the, the bed quite a bit higher than what a normal person would probably keep it at. So this is, um, I don't know, it's roughly 12 or 14 inches high. And then I put this, uh, these two by two, um, pieces of pine in here um, under the Baltic birch just to stiffen everything up. I just screwed the drilled them in, screwed them in um, right in the corners just to add some extra stiffness. Um, and then if we look at it from the top, here you can see what I was talking about. Like there's these cross braces and they already have um, some holes drilled in. And uh, so there was one below here and that's where I drilled all those bolts into and uh, rib nutted. This is the window void where in a passenger van there would actually be a window. In here it's just sheet metal. So what I did was put some um, half inch or three quarter inch uh, insulation in and then I put some masonite um, eighth inch um, particle board almost over that and then I um, there were actually two places I could drill it because there was like some cross bracing here so I put that in and then I carpeted over it um, just with like 3M adhesive and this automotive carpet. And then underneath, there's the uh, these pieces of Baltic birch. This, is, this was a four by eight piece. Again, the 18 millimeter size. And here you see is the, uh, the brace that's coming up. And there you can see there's that whole void that I was talking about. Um, so this is just drilled in. Again, to that, there's also that two by two strip under here that I showed you already. And then I had to extend it six inches 
um, or so this way to fit a full-size bed. I wasn't sure if this is going to be stiff enough and I thought maybe it would be fairly weak, but in the end it was super stiff. Mostly because I also have it supported underneath by this cabinet that I custom made, which goes all the way to the ground, and then this cabinet. And then we have all this bracing underneath. Again, two by two pieces that go underneath at that seam, and then some cross bracing. So none of this um, flexes whatsoever. And then you have this as a support. So almost, if you look at the underside of the bed frame, it's almost half way supported across. But this part is unsupported. So I had to figure out, well, how is that um, not going to flex. You know, when I sit on the bed, is it going to just hit the seats and the bike seats and then also cause some warping? And then if that warps, you know, then I wouldn't even be able to fit my bikes inside. So I had to figure out a way to keep that from flexing. Um, the only thing I could think of, and I'll show you over the bed here, is to put some L-shaped piece of metal in underneath the bed. And so I drilled that in and then I drilled it into an end piece here as well. So this steel, obviously with the L shape, isn't going to flex as much. And pretty much here, you have no flex. So as you can see here, the uh, bed frame still has a, just a wee bit of clearance um, between the seats and whatnot. I can actually drop these seats further, but you know, any clearance is, is fine. And uh, yeah, when I sit on it, you know, it doesn't flex. It doesn't hit the seats. This is the only way I could think of um, to adequately conserve space um, and especially without welding anything or just using you know products I could find at the local hardware store. So really it worked out way better than I expected. I expected there to be some flex or something to, to break but it's really just been rock solid so I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I've used it for three years and um, yeah it doesn't even squeak on the highway and doesn't flex, hasn't broken, so no problems with it whatsoever.